Can you say when? Ah, wait, that wasn't enough. Oh, one of Amanda's patented strange sounds. <laughs> Big squeaking sound. <laughs> Judges are thrilled to have their chance to cook in the chopped kitchen after hours. Hey guys, looks like you're raring to go. I know you're always happiest to be in the kitchen rather than watching from the sidelines, complaining about other people's cooking. Am I right? <laughs> well, uh, that gives people the opportunity to complain about our cooking. For sure. <laughs> exactly. Especially our own. Especially your own, absolutely. I mean, we've got to find another subject other than your hair to talk about. So <laughs> it, It's true, because we spent a lot of time on that. So did I this morning. I mean, clearly. 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 <laughs> <laughs> OK, so this is not the little piggy that went to market or that had roast beef. This is the star of our food truck and food carts entree round. So the competitors got a whole suckling pig, fiddlehead ferns, kebab sauces, and fresh corn tortillas. What an awesome basket. This is one of those baskets that the ingredients are so amazing yeah. that you almost can't think of what to do because there's too many options. Yeah, well, the good news is that Aron knows how to make nothing except tacos. <laughs> so so yes. I think we're definitely going to see a taco from Aron today. Well, like, there could be a tostada. <laughs> there could be a quesadilla. Don't talk to him about this stuff. He has no idea. <laughs> The suckling pig, I mean, you know, roast pork at its finest. You have all that available crispy skin. This pig is what you would call in Louisiana cochon de lait, which means it's a, it's a pig that's only had milk. And that really attributes to the flavor and the delicateness of it. I am dying to cook this. Like, I I, I'm like really antsy and raring to go here. OK, judges, you know you're very special to me, but no special treatment from the clock. 30 minutes. You ready to go? Let's, Let's do, do it. This. OK, my friends, time starts now. <laughs> I need a salt refill. Aaron needs a salt refill. Yeah, there's not enough salt on these stations. Oh, watch, watch, watch. Oh, ow, are you okay? Are you, are you all right? Gotti just threw a grill pan at Aaron. Oh. <laughs> Aaron, what are you gonna do, man? Oh, you're gonna use that skin? Like yeah. in the deep fryer? No, I'm gonna actually put it with some weight in the oven. And then what you do is if you take a little salt and you rub it, that will help pull some of the moisture out. Ah, so dry it out, get it crispy. Yeah, and get all that wonderful stuff out of there. Yum, yum, yum. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. So what you gonna make? I'm gonna make a little chilaquile base. Yum. And some crispy pork skin and meats on top of it. And I'm thinking about frying an egg. I, I, put an egg on it. Put an egg on it. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Okay. Whoa, Whoa. that's a hot oven. Scotty's cooking. Scotty's cooking. Scotty, watch out. Where are you taking us? So I'm trying to really develop some good flavors. I mean, inherently, I think the suckling pig is beautiful. Totally. So I just want to crisp the skin up a little bit more, put it back in the oven, moist roast it a little bit so it's really falling off the bone. I have here some of the bones, the head, I'm trying to fortify a stock. I'm really going to try to take it down as far as I can. And I think I'm going to try to treat these like a piadina, like a flatbread. Excellent. All right, judges, you are now down to 20 minutes. Cook! Cook! Ah! Sanji! Let me ask you a question. Does this look like a cup? Probably, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Are you baking something? No, I'm, I'm going to make a tempura batter. You don't say. I'm going to tempura the... Uh... The fiddleheads? Yeah. That sounds awesome. Tempura batter typically made with rice flour and yes. some sort of fizzy water. And then and some people like to put ice in it. The very second you announced that you were going to tempura your fiddleheads, for some reason, Amanda got into the deep fryer. That's right. What? Oh. Thank you. <laughs> you know what? She hides behind that veneer of sweetness. But we all know that she's an assassin. All right, judges, you're down to the 15-minute mark. And Scott, your elaborate hair is doing elaborate things. <laughs> Actually, I just need someone with product to go by and like to run their fingers through it. Ted, taste this sauce. Oh, I'd love to. A little spicy. Isn't that good? Yeah, I love the heat. I love the I love the, the acidity. Super rich porky flavor too. Really, really strong. Yes. Everything here is cooking really hot, really fast, and developing flavor as quickly as you can. Speaking of having fingers run through your hair. Getting this, this. Ladies and gentlemen, Aww. this Gregory. is Gregory. He's Gregory. with me all the time. Gregory Allen, everyone. Thank you. Gregory Allen. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Judges, 10 minutes left on the clock. Ow! I think people at home may not realize that this sort of 
built-in urgency oh. that professional chefs have. It's true. You it know, just, you just kicks in. Even at home on a Sunday, you guys cook like you're on the line. It's so true. We can't turn it off. I don't yeah. know. Someday, got, maybe. When you retire. Yeah. Like right now, you've only got one speed, that's and that speed it. is and fast. And that's fast. Ooh. Wow! That's what you call fantabulistic. Our own fryer's all clear for you. Oh, thank you. Okay, judges, two minutes to go. You all right over there? I don't know. You're we'll fine. See. You got this. Woo! That smells good over there. Wait. Arun is making tacos? I can't believe that. Yeah, Supreme. <laughs> really? <laughs> look at the shocked look on my face. All right, guys, you have a lot left to do. You're getting close. Just about got it wrapped up here, I hope. I am just putting the, the, the finishing touches on this. I have 30 seconds. I'm running out of time. OK, Amanda, looks like you're putting on finishing touches. A few finishing touches. Arun, how close are you to being done? You just about there? Baby. You have no idea. Full throttle. And Scott's making enough food to feed everybody. Let it not be said that there's not enough food on this plate. All right, judges, we have got to wrap this up here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time is up. Please step back. Stop fooling around. What are you doing over there? Wow, that was, as always, so much fun to watch you guys cook. Unbelievable. Thank you, thank you. Salud. Good time. Salud. This looks beautiful. Could you tell us what you've done? I'm calling this the red-eye suckling pig chilaquiles. Crisps up the pork, which was naturally so delicious. Yes. And uh, tortillas with uh, salsa verde. And a fried egg on top with a little bit of spice. That looks amazing. Awesome. I'm a little nervous having our own taste it. I mean, you should be. Um, but... <laughs> what I would really like would be to put a fork and knife into that. Is that something we could do? Agreed. All right, here we go. Yeah. Oh, oh look at that yeah. runny yolk. Awesome. <laughs> that yolk is gorgeous. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. That is awesome. And? Uptown. That's the best chili I've ever had. Is there a lot of vinegar in here? It's the tomatillo, jalapeno. Mm. Tomatillo. Um, not good. And then some of that red hot sauce. <laughs> For me, what's great is that I grew up eating chilaquillas in so many different manifestations. And then to see it jazzed up and done with your touch, I mean, I'm just, I think, wow, that's like a huge compliment you're giving such a humble dish. Thank you. Appreciate it. Aron Sanchez, what do we have here? So what I have here is basically sort of an ode to the Yucatan, cochinita style pibil, which is sort of cooking in the ground. Uh, and it's a suckling pig taco with a guajillo chile adobo, a little crispy tempura fiddleheads, habanero salsa, crispy crackling, and then we just made a little slaw of citrus. It's okay. gorgeous. So the idea is we'll take some of that crackling or that chicharron and then just kind of crumple it up a little bit. Everyone get close. Ready? Oye la piel. Oh! oh that guy! I think eating with your hands is, goes hand in hand with eating out of a truck. So for me, it's, it was a no-brainer to go yeah. with the taco. The crunch. Yeah. The crunch just keeps crunching. Yeah. got a lot of flavor onto the pork meat. It feels like it's been cooking for hours. And, and that's the thing, like, once it's cooked, how do you bring it back to life, so to speak? You know, and once you roast whole meat, and that's yeah. the, one of the hardest things what you do with goat, you do it with lamb, you know, pork. How do you hold the integrity of that product? There's a lot of layers, a lot of layers of flavor inside there, mm -hmm. which is great. All right, so Scott, what did you make with this fantastic basket? I didn't make anything nearly as good as these two chefs. Oh, please. I, but so I, I, I made a stewed suckling pig piadina with soft scrambled eggs and pickled fiddleheads. You know, obviously inspired by the food truck, you can eat this by hand, but you know, it gets a little sloppy. Mm. Mm. But it's gonna be a little, that's okay. That's part of it, don't you think? Mm -hmm. so, so intense, so, so rich. The intention was to really kind of develop as much flavor from that suckling pig as possible. I tasted the sauce halfway through, it was packed with flavor. Yeah. Mm. You really just amped it up so much with the pork parts. Yes, using that head, using the bones from mm -hmm. the from the shoulders and from the leg, that really came down to almost like a demi. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. For me, the fact that you broke down the fiddlehead, so they're integrated into every mm -hmm. bite. Mm -hmm. You know, the challenge with fiddleheads sometimes is people don't want to cut them because they're so pretty. Right, exactly. And I think the fact that you cut them really allows you to get right. into that, you know, that little vegetal bite that I think is really wonderful. Well, I wish you three would open up a food truck and serve these dishes. I think you'd make a fortune. As long as you do the driving, Ted. <laughs> you, you got it, you got it. Gregorio. Gregorio, Yay. thank you. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do it. Thank you. Nice work. <laughs> Foodnetwork.com slash chopped is the place to go for more after hours judges rounds.